You're watching 2018 post player Zoe Hardrick out of Minnesota here in this SP film room breakdown. You see her immediately use her body to make a play. Now, watch this the ability to put the ball right over the defender's hands, make the play, stay with the play, and then finish with a rebound. I was watching a Power Five college game earlier tonight where the team struggled to feed the interior with the high low. You see her finish there, the steal. Playing with 43 hoops back during the club season 2016. Chris Carr, her coach now, actually is on the staff at Kansas State. So, well-trained, well-coached. You see her with the finish. Watch this again. You see her isolated. Gets her arm in the passing lane and is able to do so without fouling or taking her body out of position. Now, you see her stay with the play and rewarded with the chance to finish it. So, she's able to put it in. Now, you see her use her size, be able to post it there. This is something she does really well, just feeling the defender. No rush. A lot of young post players, when they catch it back to basket, want to immediately rush and try to make a play. Not hard. You can see her there finish again. Look at that. The drop-off doesn't go her way, doesn't pout, just stays with it, stays with it. And that's something that we've seen over the course of time in her game is her willingness to fight through the adversity of a missed shot, maybe a missed assignment. You see her there with the awareness to create the steal and the opportunity. And that's something she does as well as any post that I've seen 18-wise in terms of being able to shoot that 12 to 15-footer and then complement her passing ability with that. You see her get her hands in the lane, forced to tie up, doesn't foul. So anytime you can get a player of Zoe's size, you talk about a, a template to work with and to continue to watch her grow her game. There's that little 15-foot mid-range we talked about again. Now we start to talk about our off-floor abilities as you continue to watch her on-floor. 3.1 GPA will take both the SAT and the ACT in the spring of 2017. You'll be able to find it with the Minnesota Metro Stars on the club circuit this year. Look at that left-hand finish. That's tough. National Society of High School Scholars. Be on a roll. First semester at Minnetonka. Made that transition this year. Was at Eden Prairie. Now at Minnetonka. And you see her, look at it, just catch the basketball literally with a single hand, bring it down to gather it, and then finish. And then again, we talk about her ability to step through and make plays. That's tough. Anytime you get somebody who has the hands and the feet at such an early age, and she's really focused and worked on her conditioning, Zoe Hardrick.